Welcome to the Matching Ideas with Resources Networking Podcast, sponsored by GLM Financial, an accounting firm in Schaumburg focusing on providing professional accounting and business services to small and medium-sized companies throughout the Chicagoland area. I'm Tom Ghosh, business strategist with GLM. Today I visit with Carla Weisberg from Transworld Systems. Carla has a way to increase your profits without increasing your sales. Tell me a little bit about your background and, and where you came from. Okay. Um, thank you for inviting me to be part of your session. Uh, I've worked for Transworld for the last 25 years. My initial background is I was going to be a psychologist and ended up thinking that there's another way I can help people without directly being a psychologist. And found in 1990 um, Transworld Systems, the most unique service I've ever found. It's a collection agency. What year was that again? 1990. Wow. So you have been in this business forever. 25 years. Oh, I didn't want to say the number. Thank you. <laughs> yes, yes. That's interesting. It took my news. That's all right. <laughs> um, so you're talking about how it's the most unique business you've mm-hmm. seen. Right. It's unique for the collection industry. And the mm-hmm. reason how it's unique is because in the industry I'm part of, which I don't probably say I'm part of, because mm-hmm. we are very different, everybody else in our industry says, don't worry, Tom, we'll only charge you a percentage if we collect, and there you go. Whatever they collect, they t- control it, they may speak to your client, maybe not in the way that you would prefer, even though they do owe you money. Mm-hmm. You don't know. With Transworld Systems, here's what their concept is. If I can help you recover your money without charging you a percentage, but charging you a small flat fee on average, of about $12 an account or less. Wait, $12 per account, not right. per outstanding invoice? Correct. Wow. Right. Per, per account would be per debtor. So if you had a million dollars owed to, regardless of what your business, mm-hmm. but that only added up to 100 accounts, we'd be looking at how many accounts you have, not how much is owed. That's the different twist Transworld has had since 1970. Um, wow. Yeah. And the beauty of what we do is another point beneficial to your clients mm-hmm. is that they still control the account. No one's going to get in there and be nasty and say the wrong thing because your clients will still be able to communicate with these people. Mm-hmm. The money will come directly to these people. That's again unheard of in the collection business. Yeah. The percentage agencies want the money go directly to them. Right. Not with Trans World. Believe it or not, Tom, we even send thank you letters when clients' debtors pay in full to them. Wow. Everything's online. We're a totally paperless service. The beauty of our service is it depends on how quick you want your money, mm-hmm. and you don't have to wait for the collection agency to turn around and eventually send you a check. You get it directly from the people that are Interesting. So let's just say that I am a business owner, and um, how long should I wait on a client to pay me before I contact you? Great question. I look at you and I say, every industry is a little bit different, but many industries, no matter what, except the medical and dental field, Mm -hmm. look at a debt as, I'll give you 30 days to pay. Now, I look at you and pretend you're the business owner, Tom. Okay. I say, past that 30 days, Tom, how long would you like to wait for you? You'd be surprised at the answers I get. I mean, I'm shocked. If it were me, I'd say, Right 30 away. seconds after, you know, they spo- they're they supposed to pay, I'm looking at them like, where's my money? Right. But there you go. So every industry is different in medical and dental. Unfortunately, that industry was started where you can walk into a doctor yeah. and get the service. If you have insurance, you give the insurance card. You can walk out and they may say to you, of course they should. Your balance is, and you just give the typical medical and dental patient comment, oh, didn't my insurance pay everything? They hear that all the time. Mm -hmm. And that's where we step in. When they try to think that everything should have been paid by the insurance company, which obviously it's not. Right. Okay. So, the answer to the question is, as soon as you think you need to start collecting. As soon as it bothers you. Okay. 
And you may be the kind of person, and, and this is interesting, my psychology, background in psychology, um, plays a part because it's how do you feel about money? Mm -hmm. Do you not care? Do you care like 30 seconds later? Because however you care about money is generally how you care about your patients or clients. Pay. Interesting. So, all right. So I have um, three clients, for example. I have three clients that uh, uh, are owed me money. And I go to you, and those three clients each owe, you know, four different invoices of two hundred dollars each. Just using round numbers. What what's next? What happens now? I, I s come to you. Okay. Uh, when you hire Transworld, again, I don't know if I mentioned. I don't think I, I did, but everything's online. I did mm -hmm. mention more papers. I recall saying that. Mm -hmm. So you just enter the account that owes you money. You bundle, meaning you put all together the invoices that are owed by one client. Okay. So and if there is each one client, and so each of the, the if, if that one client has four invoices, it's all bundled together. There's and that's each for equal about to one account. Perfect. So that's. $200 times four, my accounting mind goes into effect, and I realize that that's $800 they owe me, right? Correct. So I go online, I enter that in, I enter in the contact information. All you need to enter to mm -hmm. us is who owes you the money, uh -huh. where they're located, okay. total dollars owed, All right. and um, date of last service rendered by your company. Okay. And. Uh, Obviously, did I say how much is owed? Yes, yes, I did. There you go. Cool. That's it. And then we proceed by contacting your clients. We have two different products. One's called Accelerator. Okay. It's a quick reminder program. It's not, no, I'll be straightforward. We never had the thought of ever doing anything like that until the recession hit. Mm -hmm. There were many reluctant clients that didn't want to put somebody right away in collections because they understood the economy. Right. We created this program as a simple way of reminding people that you need to pay the person you owe the money to. Generally best utilized on accounts less than 90 days old. Mm -hmm. And it's a mix of phone calls and letters, all directed to the people that are owed the money. Okay. The next phase that we have, which is a product called Profit Recovery, which we've always had for at least 45 years, mm -hmm. is simply a collection demand product. We contact them again every well, either every 10 days or two weeks, preference of the client, and we're doing it all in writing, just like an attorney would do. That's kind of what we learned it from. Right. Letting them know the quick idea of touching something quickly, consistently, generally will get the best benefit of getting the money for the client. Uh, you also, did you mention you make phone calls? In the accelerator. In the problem. accelerator, okay. Right. Not in, not in profit recovery. Then, of course, if necessary, at the option of the client, we do have a percentage agency. However, it is not required that you use that. Okay. Some do, some don't, depending on the situation. Or some decide, I'm going to do it on some of the people that don't pay, but not on Okay. So that uh, the percentage recovery part of your company, that would be after how long does it last? How long are you... Gently touching them, and then the accelerator program. How Great. long is that? Great question. Okay, accelerator. If if you don't mess with it, and I always just say, if you don't mess with it, and you don't touch it, because in either accelerator or profit recovery, you are able to put us in a holding pattern to where we stop contacting the debtor mm -hmm. because you're getting action from the fact that we have communicated with them to pay you. If in fact, and you put them in a, in a suspended mode, telling us, leave us alone, we're okay, we seem to have control of it, you okay. being you. If in fact the debtor doesn't continue to respond with the promise made, you can kick us back in. You can do that up to four times in each of the products, which will, to the answer of your question, change the time frame to which each product would go. If you leave them alone and you just do accelerator, the traditional way, every five or seven days, they're going to get contacted. Okay. And basically in 25 days, it's buy or die. Either they do something or they don't. Profit recovery is a month and a half, the same way it's a five touch. But we touch the accounts because, again, now we are acting as what our core business is, mm -hmm. a, a collection agency. 
and everything, by the way, that we have to say says this is being sent to you by a collection agency. Right. Um, that is a month and a half product. If you don't, again, play with the time frame by suspending and starting as you can do in both products. Okay. So at the end of all this, if I give you three of my clients, um, each owing, you know, on average, eight hundred bucks. I'm giving you twelve dollars for each of those three clients um, in order to get that done. In in putting it in total perspective, there's a little bit more to hiring us. Okay. Okay. When people hire us, they look at how many people owe them money, how many mm -hmm. companies owe them money right now. So when I when I give you a guesstimated dollar amount at twelve accounts, twelve dollars an account. That would be approximately a hundred. You would have about a hundred people that owe you money, or a hundred debtors. Here's the beauty of Trans World. Say you don't have a hundred debtors right now, but let's say you have forty-five debtors. Why would you want to hire us for a hundred? And simply, we just call it a hundred account system. The reason would be is that the balance of accounts left over mm -hmm. you can utilize over the next two years. So our service is saying, clean up your receivables for where they are right now and then know that at your option, not being forced into saying, oh, I need to put an account in every month, as you need it, you have the next two years to use the balance of our accounts. Oh, wow, okay. Pretty cool, isn't it? It is, it is. Uh, is there a specific industries that work better for your business than others? Well, let's face it, you don't need me if you're running a cash business. Mm -hmm. There you go. Everybody else, um, we're fine. The result recoveries generally really depend on how long you wait to ask for your money. Because no matter what you're selling, a service or a product, it's still a human being in a company. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not the company, it's a human being who's sitting there in the receivables department deciding, I'll pay this bill or I won't pay this bill. Right. What creates the reason that they make that decision? It depends on a human mind saying, I'll pay this, these three and not yours yet. If you don't give me a reason, put a collection agency aside to pay, in many cases, I'm going to pay who's bothering me the most. Okay, I see what you mean. Did that make sense to It does. Question? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you do focus the, you, uh, some of the um, targets that you would have or people that you work with are you know, medical doctors. Uh, mm -hmm. I would assume chiropractors are in there, too. Absolutely. Um, dentists. Absolutely. Yes. Um, any other industries that pop in your head? I know um, everybody, but just more of a focus. Banks. Banks? Yes. Okay. Work with banks. For the outstanding loans or credit no. cards, things like that? The interesting thing is where they where they least pay attention is to their overdrawn checking accounts. Oh, okay. So we help recover their overdrawn checking accounts. We get the, there's somebody who, let's face it, they're in trouble. Mm -hmm. Their checking account is overdrawn. If there it's overdrawn, Look at all those people that are getting bad checks right. from them. So what we do is definitely focus on getting those people right again with the bank so that they can feel they, again, can start using their bank account. Interesting. Okay. Very yeah. good. So, so banks as well. I, I'd like to add a quick point, if I may. Of course. Okay. If a debt is $1,000, it's the easiest way to describe it. Nowadays, percentage agencies say, you know what? Here, you've got a thousand dollar debt. Let me let you know. We're only going to charge you thirty percent of that. Thirty percent doesn't sound a lot until you put it into real numbers. That's three hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Trans world on average, our fee would be about twelve dollars or so for that account. Again, depending on how many times you need this. Sure. So I, I look at it and I like the scales of justice. Which would you rather pay? Twelve dollars or so, or three hundred dollars to collect the same amount? Now, my objection to that would be, well, mm -hmm. if uh, if you're only charging $12, how much do you really care about my business? Are you really going to go after this person for $12? Or should I go with the other company that's going to go aggressively at them for $300? Mm -hmm. How do you answer that? That's a great question. In the old days when I started doing Transworld, you'll appreciate this. And, and that was in 1990 because I've been with the company. And that I'm proud to say with one company for 25 years. Mm -hmm. There wasn't caller ID, there wasn't cell phones. I mean, I started, we had beepers, mm -hmm. okay? And all of a sudden, I remember getting my first cell phone when I came to Transworld. 
And now I look at my bill and it says caller ID, but it's no charge. And I say, I call up, you know, AT&T and say, what's caller ID? I mean, now we're going to laugh about this. Mm -hmm. But at that time, we didn't get it. That was the worst invention for the collection business ever. Oh, sure. Because obviously now we can see, mm -hmm. as a consumer, who's bothering us. You right. know, it's my mother, my Uncle Louie, oh, you know, Dr. Smith, not answering that one. Right. So what has happened where that telephone, the instrument, the telephone, used to be the greatest invention to get in touch with people because, Tom, you would have to pick, the phone rings, you pick the receiver up, oh, hi, Carla. Right. No. But now you look, oh, it's Carla. I know I owe her money. Why will I answer? Right. That used to be the case. So now here's the hardest thing is really getting in touch with the people that are owing the money. Mm -hmm. The best way is a here and there mix of phone calls, but primarily putting in things in writing because people don't do that as much. The collection agency, unfortunately, except for Transworld, is still living in the, in the old world of it's the telephone way to contact. Right. Terrible way to contact. So you're mainly contacting them by mail. Everybody opens mainly. the mail. Mm -hmm. yeah, People, first mail. class mail. It's not junk, not bulk. Mm -hmm. And that's also important. Interesting. Yeah, so, so here's the so, thing, and mm -hmm. this is kind of cool too. For statistics state, the average get through is less than 20% on picking up the phone and actually talking to a human. Because here's the next thing people have voicemail. Right. Which is connected to their good old. Uh, looking and saying, I'm not going to answer this. Mm -hmm. So you can't, what do you do? In the collection business, you can't leave strong messages. You don't know who's going to answer that law. And the, the laws are very strong in what you can and cannot say as a collection. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm a referral partner. Okay. And um, I'm sitting in front of a client who's complaining about their slow payers. What is a great way for me to introduce you to them? I know what I say, okay. but you'll so. already know this. So when I, if I walk in cold to a potential prospect, mm -hmm. I introduce myself by name, obviously, the name of my company, ask their position with the company, and if they're the person that I really want to talk to, let's say they're the office manager in the medical practice, um, I'll say, anybody owe you money? And they'll look at me like, well, yeah. Now, yeah, and no, it's almost like the stupid question. So here I am, I'm in the collection business, they don't really know what I do yet, but I say I work for a company called Transworld Systems, anybody owe you money? And and they're thinking, why would anybody ask the most obvious question that they're going to get a yes to? Because I want to get a yes. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know any company unless they, again, deal as a cash only, right. that don't have somebody that owe money. How do you take that phrase and turn it around when I don't know in your business, do you automatically know their receivables when you come in? Well, the way that we would be asking is, uh, as we're looking or talking with them, we would, you know, hey, you've got a lot of outstanding, you know, bills here, uh, you know, what's the problem, are you contacting them? I guess probably the way that I would introduce is, um, have you tried using a collective collection agency in the past? Mm -hmm. Or, or do, would you like to talk with somebody that does this for a living and just see if it's the right fit for you? Um, you know, the, a lot of times what I'm asking our accountants to do is just when they're complaining about something or they notice something, one of their expenses is a little higher than normal, is asking them, who's helping you with this? Who's mm -hmm. helping you reduce this payment on your whatever it happens to be? Mm -hmm. And sometimes it, you get that look of, what do you mean? Who's helping? Uh, you I send don't know. Out statements. Right, exactly. Well, that's all we do. Exactly. So mm -hmm. um, that could be just a nice way to introduce you is you know, who's helping you collect these. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it'll turn around, oh, is that something you guys can do? And on some things we might actually say yes. Mm -hmm. In other things, I think we'd be smart enough to know that we want to sit down and work with them on their accounting, not right. spend time on the phone trying to collect their bills. So I think that, that would be that would be how I would introduce you. I, I spoke to a gentleman yesterday who is at a bank, and he was saying that one of his clients who runs this big, in fact, it's a cleaning service like you okay. spoke Talked about, about it. Okay. And uh, I found this interesting. He's telling me how many guys has got out there cleaning and blah, blah, and all this. 
And he said, so what he does is when he's not busy, he himself makes these calls. You know, as, as somebody in my business, I look at it like, you're the owner calling and asking for money. How does that make you feel? Right. And wouldn't it be better to spend time bringing in new business instead of chasing old money? And how would you like to have a simple tool to help you increase your profits without increasing your sales? Perfect. How would you like a simple tool that can increase your profit without increasing your sales? That's perfect. Yeah. Who else can provide you with referrals? Not, um, not your clients, but I'm a referral source now because I'm with an accounting firm and I deal with people that deal with accounts payable, receivables, and everything. Who else would you like maybe some introductions to that might be able to give you referrals besides, um, besides the people that would use you on the end? Billing services. Okay. Accounting firms. Mm -hmm. Anybody involved in an association? Okay. That has a lot of contacts to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And banks. Banks. Okay. Perfect. That sounds good. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time and being with us today. Thank you for inviting me. Sure thing. Thanks for listening to the Matching Ideas with Resources podcast sponsored by GLM Financial. I'm Tom Ghosh, business strategist with GLM, steering direction, matching ideas with resources.